What's up guys, welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter, so happy to have you today. Before we get into today's video, which is gonna be about testing, testing glazes, how to make test tiles, and just get sweet results, I wanna let you know that we have a Kickstarter campaign going on to help with building our new studio so we can get out of this basement and upgrade everything in terms of pottery and videos. So we can make more videos, better videos. So head over to the Kickstarter if you wanna get some uh, of my pottery. That's gonna be the only way to buy my pottery now for the foreseeable future. So thanks to everyone that's backing us over there. Okay, let's get into this video. glazes is a huge huge part of pottery because that's it's not like painting and drawing where you just like put it on something and it's done and you can see it right away you have to actually test things and fire them in the kilns and then see how they come out and then redo it so it's this thing that test tiles work really really well for so we got on the wheel yesterday and we threw this and I got this from a guy on Instagram if you want to follow him at for old forge creations and this is how he made test tiles and I thought god that's a super easy way to make test tiles so we threw this and then we cut them individually so we're gonna go check that out now I'm going all the way down to the bottom. So normally on a mug or a bowl, I would leave a bottom there. But for this, I go all the way down to the bottom. And then I just, and when I can feel the bat, then I start to stretch, stretch it out to the end. And actually I probably should have thrown this on a bigger bat because this was kind of a lot of clay to throw on this little bat. But then basically I just kind of start pinching. So I start pinching a little ways up off of the bat. So I leave some of that clay around the bottom, both on the inside and on the outside. So I'm pinching from the bottom. You can see there's a little clay on the outside and then there's still a little clay on the inside, and I just pull that up until the clay is about at the right consistency. And then I like to just curl up the base, right like that, so that it does provide a little bit of a trap, so that if the glaze does drip, that it will stay on the test tile. Same thing on the inside. And then it's also important on these test tiles to put a little texture in there. And so that's you'll see me do that in a little bit. But I also like to put that little curve on the outside uh, so that they can be used as like business card holders or label holders. All right, well, I'll just speed the rest of this up and uh, we'll see you when we're cutting them. Now we're back. Mm, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, so now we got this thrown, and these are ones that we made earlier, and we put numbers on the bottom of all of them. So like this one is number 16, right? Yes, 16. So when we're throwing, we like to put a little bit of texture on there too. So there's texture right there, so that we can see how the glaze 
looks. If you can see, this is one of my favorites that came out of that first one, that blue. And then on the back side, you can see there's like some ridges in there so we can see how it, how it works when there's texture on it too. So my goal for this, since we have like 15 glazes that we're testing. Oh, there we are, right there. What is that, new Albany Brown? Oh. So we have 15 different glazes that we're testing. So technically there are 2,700 combos because my style is to layer three different glazes on the top and then have them drip down. Yeah, 2,700 is gonna take me a long time to get to that many. My goal is to just, I'm gonna keep doing regular fires like that kiln is full right now of bisqueware. You can see that my shelves are empty because I just loaded it all into there. So then we'll get that out, I'll kind of do some and then I'll have all these tests go in with that glaze fire. So I'm not actually gonna start using these glazes for a little while until I feel more comfortable, because these other glazes that I've been using, I've been using for seven or eight years, so I feel really comfortable knowing what it's gonna, what they're gonna look like, but these I don't know at all yet, so it's gonna take some time and lots of different test styles. So I have you know, all these test styles, I have more tests over there, I have these ones coming out, so my goal is to just have 15 to 20 new tests in each one in each glaze fire that we do. Then, the other super, super important thing is to be writing everything down because you might think that you're gonna remember what you did on a certain piece, but when you have like 50 pieces coming out of every kiln, I can assure you that it's very difficult to remember what you did on things unless you have it written down. So, we have our trusty notebook. So that was all 15 of the first glaze tests. So now we're gonna write down all these numbers that are on here and then test a bunch of new glazes. You ready? Let's do it! Okay, Woo. so we got one, two, three, four, 13 that have three different combos on them, all different. We got three that are just like white, denim, sandstone, just because I want to see what those plain look like. Uh, and there we got them all written down. I'm realizing that I might need a little bit more systematic approach to this because otherwise it's, I'm just gonna like be shooting in the dark. So, I think after this test run, I'll see what I come out with, but then I think I'm gonna develop a different, like more systematic approach so that I'm not doing the same like tests because I'm, it's gonna be impossible for it to be like, oh, I've already done that one, I've already done that combo of three, I've already done that. So my, my hope was that I would just start doing this and then kind of like look at it and realize like, oh, this one, cause like with all my other glazes before, I realized that buttercream, that buttercream glaze really looks good as the third layer of a lot of different glazes. Whereas with these, I don't I don't have the luxury. So I was hoping that like going through it, being like, oh, French mustard, whenever that's applied third looks really good. Like I know the on my old glazes, I had a matte white and the matte white as a middle layer looked really good on a lot of things. So this one is like, well, is high gloss white gonna act the same as my matte white does? Or maybe the high gloss white looks good on as the third layer. Like there are certain glazes before that if I added it as the third layer, it didn't really work, but if I added it as the middle layer, or the first layer, then it looks really good. So, whew, this is like, if you are somebody that really needs to like explore all the options, and this project is probably not for you because, well, because then you can also dip things twice too, which even adds more possible combinations. Like say we did, 
like a, a high gloss white Fiesta blue twice with buttercream. I also think that these glazes aren't quite as thick as they would be normally. So whenever whenever you increase the thickness of the glaze, that also really helps to, uh, it changes the look too. I mean, there's a, I know the Rogue Red came out in this, in this, test tile. This is Rogue Red, which isn't actually what Rogue Red looks like. Rogue Red is more like a pinkish color, but that's what it looks like when it's really thin. So if I were to dip that twice, it would probably turn out like pinkish. Or if I let it get really thick, a lot thicker. So holy smokers. That's why like just layering commercial glazes is complicated enough, let alone getting into the mixing of all of them. So anyway, I'm blabbing, I'm blabbing. Hey, if you haven't checked out the Kickstarter campaign, I would so, so appreciate it. Um, we are getting close to the studio being done, but we just need that little kickstart, kickstart. If you wanna see those John the Potter videos keep coming for decades, generations to inspire people, go check out the Kickstarter. I'd very much appreciate it. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe, comment, like, sp oh, just smash that bell. You know that little bell? If you download the app, that little bell, if you hit that, anytime I post a video, you get notified. So just, just like pound that bell. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, check out the next kiln unloading to see all the glazes come out and see whatever else we come up with. So see you in the next one. I love you all. Shh.